The Greeks did not come here and build temples. They came and usurped the throne of ancient Kemet, and the usurping of the throne of ancient Kemet, they forced the Kari Hebs to build on already existing temples. This temple is dated back to the Shimsu Haru. And we know the Shimsu Haru go all the way back to the Gazean period. The Gazean period is over 5,000 years ago. There's a crypt in there that talks about the Shimsu Haru. And then we come down to the time of the Old Kingdom with Pepe II. And there's a part in the, in the stone in here that has a description with his writing on here. And then also Men Keparatu de Maze of the 18th Dynasty. Also, there's stones with his writing on here. So, were there Greeks around during the time of the Shimsu Haru? No. no. Were there Greeks during the time of Pepe II? No. no. Men Keparatu de Maze? No. no. So, they were so fascinated with Kemet that everything that you see on here is all Kemetic. They did not bring any Greek deities with them. Here they took and incorporated spiritual ideas from Kemet and turned it into, in many cases, Greek names, like Jupiter and Zeus. That is Amun. We see Imhotep becomes Escalapius and on and on and on. This is how they got many of the names that we see came down to us. But it's in the back of this temple that we see that the last phase of ancient Kemet took place. Don't that feel good? That's Shu. That's Shu embracing you. There's another element there, see? So again, it's during this particular period of Ptolemies who came in. First Greeks that came in was like going back to Thales and then also Pythagoras. They came in and they were learning at that time. None of them finished their initiation of 20, of 40 years. Pythagoras was only here 22 years. He got his apotheneus and the ideas from here, as well as many of the other Greeks that I talked about, Plato, okay, uh, uh, Socrates and uh, Archimedes and many others.